secret thing, guys. Uh, there are many definitions of what big data and machine learning are. The most common ones are that big data is the term utilized to define large and complex data sets. Machine learning is just simply teaching machines through learning. Okay? So uh, big data is not something new. Yet the way it's used today, it wasn't possible in the past because data collection was hard uh, and difficult to obtain. Therefore, people in the past tend to focus only on small data sets and base decisions on hypotheses. Here, this picture clearly shows that previously you had to go to a place, now you can get data from a click on Facebook, right? <laughs> uh, so, big data helps us with the what, the correlations, not the why, what causes the relationship. And machine learning is useful when you want to predict something or when you want decision making, right? So, it is used from self driving cars to breast cancer cell analysis. Today, I'd like to tell you three stories. Three stories that portray what big data and machine learning are and how they were applied. So story number one is to measure is to know. That was something said by Lord Kelvin. And in 1839, a U.S. Navy officer uh, gathered all logbooks from uh, all of the U.S. Navy captains. And those logbooks contain information about the weather, temperature, and wind direction speed and also at, for different locations, a different type of a year. Uh, he, organ he and his team organized the data, and he said blocks for the Atlantic. So when he was organizing the data, all those blo blocks show pattern. So for every block, you have the temperature, wind, speed, and direction, and also other metrics. Those, pa uh, those patterns uh, made useful the blocks and also showed some trends. So now sailors, have better opportunities to find better routes, right? And to improve accuracy, then they develop a standard of the routes, and then they give it to new sailors. So now, then the young sailors have the opportunity to know how to sail on the sea with the experience of a thousand sailors in the past. Story number two is about correlation, putting it all together. Pregnant women tend to be open, and this is especially true when they're shopping. So they tend to, because they tend to become loyal to new brands. And retailers like Target pay special attention to this. Uh, Target's uh, analytics team, uh, they analyzed the data from baby gift registry. So they saw that girls, I mean women, tended to, be, tended to buy a lot of unscented lotion during the first month of pregnancy, and also tended to buy unscented uh, supplements like zinc, calcium, and magnesium. So they developed a data set that give them the accuracy to determine the due date of women within an hour range. So they could send coupons on the mail and offering uh, many objects, I mean, many products. One day, uh, angry dad came into Target and he was mad. He was saying, hey, are you trying to get my girl pregnant? She got this on the mail. Not for <laughs> uh, the manager found out and called him the next day. And then the boys on the other place said, okay, I'm sorry, I need to, I owe you an apology. My girl is pregnant, she's due in August. <laughs> <laughs> so story number three is sometimes 2 plus 2 equals 3.9, and that is good enough. So you did that in your machine learning. Actually, you can sacrifice accuracy to see the big picture, okay? A team of WSU put together an algorithm that was capable of predicting Google share prices based on its previous data and also based on the global market, right? So when you're putting data based on, uh, on previous, uh, the previous eight years, you're going to find out that all the markets from Europe, Asia, and North America doesn't work on the same days. So once you compile all the data, you're going to see a gap of one or two, even three months, right? So even though we have gaps, uh, the algorithm was able to perform really good, right? So uh, the four uh, set of data used was the global market for eight years, the Google share for eight years, Global market two years and Google share for two years. So the global market eight years was the one that uh, made the algorithm perform better. That was because it was fed with more data, so it was able to learn more. So this is a professional algorithm. That's the algorithm developed WSU. As you can see, it has nothing to end with the professional one. It follows the pattern as it was real. So within two or three uh, dollars different. So please think about it. Imagine what we can do with data if we apply it to more common things, if we apply it to the daily world. Thank you very much.